What's up guys? My name is Vicky Fisher and I'm a yoga teacher. If it's your first time joining me, welcome. Today I will be taking you guys through a completely supine practice to release the lower back. So if you're struggling with lower back pain, maybe from, you know, working behind a computer or whatever reason, today is your day to just lie on your back, listen to my voice and really give yourself this time to release your lower back. If this sounds good and you'd like to join me, all you need is something comfortable to lie on, a mat, maybe even your bed. <laughs> and if you have a block, please bring this along. We will only be using it for one pose right at the end. So if you do not have a block, you can also use your mat and I will be showing you how to do that. Without further ado, let's start. We'll start today lying down on the back, obviously, because that's the whole practice. <laughs> so just coming down onto your back. And to begin, we'll take a moment to ground. So taking your feet flat onto the soles of the feet, walking the feet out to the edges of the mat or just a bit wider than hip distance, bringing the knees together allowing your knees to completely relax into each other and then taking your pelvis lifting it off the ground a little bit and tucking your bum under so lower belly in tucking and then placing your back down on the ground and then bringing one hand onto your belly the other hand onto your heart allowing the knees to become heavy Closing the eyes, beginning to take a deep inhale, filling up the belly and then the chest and exhaling from the chest and then the belly. Another deep inhale, filling up the belly and then the chest and exhaling chest belly and just releasing the breath now allowing it to become completely natural just enjoying this moment of being here in your body the future can wait. You do not need to think about anything except just being here. And beginning to lightly blink the eyes open, releasing the hands down to the side, taking the knees apart. And all we'll do now for the first pose is simply take your knees over towards the left side. Allowing the outer left knee to completely relax into the ground while allowing your right inner knee just to drop towards the ground as much as it can making it super heavy and beginning to bring the knees back through the center and simply taking the knees over towards the right side bringing the outer right knee onto the ground and taking your left inner knee down and away from your hip again the same as the other side, just suspending it, allowing it to become heavy. And you might feel a really good stretch across the whole outside and front of the left hip. And beginning to release, bringing the knees back up through the center and taking the knees into the chest. 
taking your arms as wide around the knees as you can. And maybe you can grab opposite elbows. So really squeezing those knees into the chest and the ribs, depending on your anatomy. You might not get as deep as I am, but just grab wherever you can. This compresses the hip flexors, which is really good for releasing the lower back. I'm beginning to release the arms out and taking your feet up towards the sky and then taking your feet apart coming into happy baby so you could either grab onto your ankles here keeping your elbows on the inside of the knees or you can try to take your two first fingers around the big toes or if you want to take it to the full depth, you can take your hands around the outside of the feet. Wherever you are, trying to open up through the hips. So maybe pressing your elbows into the inner knees, opening the hips and pulling your lower back into the ground. Just staying still for the first few breaths here. And then beginning to take just tiny rocks from side to side, giving the lower back a massage. And trying to press the back of the pelvis into the ground as you roll gently from side to side. And coming back to the middle, staying still in your happy baby for one more deep inhale. And with your exhale, bringing the soles of the feet together grabbing onto your ankles and simply drawing the heels in towards your groin area while still opening up through the hips. Just allowing a full release of the hips here. And then engaging your lower belly slightly here, beginning to drop the feet down onto the ground and making fists with your hands, placing the hands underneath, like really just on the sides of your buttocks here, and then allowing the feet to come down, still with the soles of the feet together. This is known as your uh, supine Bhadokanasana, or butterfly pose. So really just making your hips as heavy as you can here. Coming into complete stillness, trying not to move. Just keep breathing and sending the breath to the hips. gently beginning to release, bringing the knees back into the chest and giving yourself a big squeeze again, coming back into our ball, ball pose, really hugging those knees in, allowing the hip flexors 
to be a little bit compressed here. And then beginning to release the feet flat onto the mat again. And taking your right ankle on top of the left knee, then taking the hands through, and grabbing either just behind the knee, interlacing the fingers, or taking your hands on top of the left knee, wherever you are, interlacing those fingers and gently drawing the left knee in towards the chest, keeping both feet flexed here. And trying to keep the lower back on the ground. So don't allow the pelvis to lift, but keep it anchored. And keep breathing. Keep sending the breath to the outer right hip. and beginning to release. Keeping your legs actually as they are, and just start to extend the arms out to the side, either in cactus or straight out, and then taking your right leg all the way over, so crossing your legs as if you're sitting on a chair. And if you're quite flexy, you can actually hook your right foot behind the left ankle in eagle legs or just keep the foot next to the ankle. But wherever you are, taking a little shift of the hips over to the right, and then allowing the knees to drop to the left. But still trying to keep your right shoulder anchored on the ground. And maybe looking out over the right fingers. Just fully relaxing here into your spinal twist. beginning to unravel, coming back through the center, taking the right foot down to the ground, and we'll switch to the other side. So bringing left ankle on right knee, and then taking the hands through, grabbing on, pushing lower back into the ground, flexing the feet as you begin to draw the right knee in towards the chest. beginning to release the arms out to the side and then taking your left leg all the way over, maybe hooking it behind your right or just keeping them together and then shifting the hips towards the left slightly and taking the knees all the way over to the right. Maybe looking out over the left fingers. Just 
fully releasing here, allowing the spine to unravel. beginning to come out of the pose with control bringing the knees through center unwrapping the legs and one more time bringing the knees in giving yourself a big hug taking little rocks from side to side really squeezing the knees in while massaging your lower back Okay, and we'll come into our final pose. So it's kind of a variation of Shavasana. With this pose, you will need your block now. But before I demonstrate with the block, I will show those of you who don't have a block how you can still do this pose and benefit from it. So if you have a mat or maybe you could use a pillow or a blanket just rolling up the end of your mat or your blanket now so that it forms a bit of a tube shape or like a bit of a solid uh, roll okay and then just coming over bringing your hips onto it so that it's really supporting just underneath your pelvis and lowering yourself down onto the mat or onto your back making sure that you're fully supported right underneath the pelvis okay and then from here we will be extending the feet out if you feel like your lower back starts to round up we don't want this so then just walk your hips back a little bit so that this is really supporting you in a way that your lower back is not arching it's keeping your lower back kind of in a straight line and you will feel a really awesome release here of the hip flexors okay if you have a block a block is even more beneficial so those of you who do have a block you can join me doing exactly the same but just taking your block be gentle with yourself I will choose the lowest height today making sure that your pelvis is supported and then beginning to walk your feet out also making sure that you're not arching through the back making sure that the back is completely supported here and then just really allowing your feet to fall open palms to face the sky allowing the hips to open here becoming heavy and relaxed Just releasing. Allowing the face to become soft. Making sure that your eyes are soft, your lips are soft. Allowing the breath to slow down. Becoming as quiet as possible and gently beginning to walk the heels back in 
and keeping the block or your blanket or mat in the same place bringing the knees up into the chest giving yourself a squeeze here allowing the lower back to be supported by your block or mat just really enjoying this mini inversion here allowing the blood to flow back towards the brain and gently beginning to release the feet down engaging the core as you remove the block safely from underneath here and wherever you are just rolling over onto one side and lightly pressing yourself up to seated coming into your favorite seated position bringing your hands into your heart center just taking a moment to finish off your yoga practice closing the eyes and sitting tall maybe you'd like to set an intention for yourself for the rest of your day maybe it's a just an emotion that you'd like to practice that you'd like to take with you into the rest of the day and taking a deep inhale and with your exhale bowing down in gratitude thanking yourself for showing up for yourself today namaste thank you for joining me and yeah as i said in the beginning of the practice if you enjoyed this class please subscribe like and comment to see future videos and yeah i'm really grateful that you're joining me and for all of your support until next time namaste